Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines 2 here in Kettlebridge with me, Biffa. Oh, we're coming up on our beautiful city there in the distance and we need to expand all of this territory that's to the left of us is ready and waiting for us to build in and we have plenty of squares to unlock and we're going to be looking at some system interchanges and some service interchanges and some road networks to get us ready to build and expand up from we want about seventy-five thousand population at the moment so we're looking to try and creep that up towards a hundred thousand as much as we can let's just slow down our vehicle at the moment and look outside the edge of our truck at our city over there doesn't that just look magnificent in the background so that is the interchange that we've just set up which goes into that side of our city and then we've got all this land over here so let's pop out of this view zoink there we go excellent and we'll see what's going on so we'll move away from following that truck so at the minute we have uh, this one highway that goes all the way through from west to east and then joins up with this highway that's going all the way up from the north all the way down to the south and then it sort of comes through i think this is railway lines here isn't it yeah it is railway lines so that's the connections that we've got you can see we've got all of these roads that have crossed over the river we might need to do a little bit of rebuilding around this road here so we can get that one to continue across but I'd like to continue this highway here. So in the last episode, we added this on. And instead of using a highway road, I used a normal road here. But I've changed this now to be a highway road that goes all the way down into this end of our city. And we can see lots of people are using it now because it's causing all sorts of traffic. Because we haven't come down here and removed any of the traffic lights that we don't need or anything like that so let's just quickly do that we're going to remove those we're going to remove one of those crossings and we'll leave that one there we'll just remove the traffic light so you can just keep going and hopefully that will sort that out very quickly and in fact i'm going to remove those crossings there as well because you can walk down here and cross over excellent are you going to go are you going to be happy are you can use both the lanes do we need to change the lanes up here so we get people using the other one for straight on or is everybody trying to turn right to come into here maybe they are so we're going to just come over here and ignore it because that's not what we're doing today so we're going to continue this highway here uh if we go into our highways we've got the four lane two-way highway i believe that is the same one it is and we want to continue that over into this part so we might just need to unlock some squares first of all to have access to the rest of this island so if we sort of take those that'll give access to all of that and in fact if i just took um all of these we might cross over into there what are we up to islands 22 oh, so we've got loads we've got absolutely loads and then we're going to be bringing this road up here as well and then we've got this road, which sort of comes out. So maybe we'll unlock that as well. That's 33. I think that should be okay for now. And that will give us access. And let's just see where we're going to run this highway. So while we're doing this, we want to make sure that we've got our contour lines on to give us a good idea of what's happening. And this is reasonably flat across here. But we want to get this one across the river as soon as we can. There... I think would be a good crossing point excellent so then we're going to just take the height of that and just make sure that's the same over there and then we can go straight across there we go perfectly flat and straight over there that is looking good that's looking good and then heading through this way again this looks as if it's pretty much flat along here so we're going to have another highway uh, interchange in there at some point but if we literally just bring that straight through minus 0 0.5 i mean that is just spot on so we'll bring that to there now that starts dipping down and lifting up a little bit over there so again we're going to take the height of that and just give ourselves a landing pad on the other side and then we'll just bring that straight across 180 degrees that is actually going to work yep there we go that's fine and then this where do we go from there so all of these rows that are coming out here at some point are going to connect to this highway as it moves through this area here and you know what i think i might just 
it's spring. I might just wait until the snow's all gone, just give us a better view of what we're doing. And there we go, excellent. Didn't take too long because I uh, clicked the button to remove the snow. Okay, so this highway here, I'm thinking, if we bring it through, what have we got here? Just some water coming up. I mean, it's gonna end up running parallel to this one, but this is gonna be pretty busy. I'm thinking of swooping that around and then up to this way because we've got all the way up to the edge there and i think that'll be okay or do we have another nice big bridge do we just bring that straight through to here and have a bridge across do you know what i think we do oh <gasps> bridges we still haven't done the grand bridge have we oh well let's just get this one over here first and see what this looks like so that to me again looks reasonably flat so let's get that at 180 degrees there we go and what do we get in on there plus 0. it's hard to see plus 0. 0.2 it's barely anything but that is going to have to go up isn't it for the bridge to go across here mm. four lane height if we do this yeah that will go across nicely plus 0. 0.2 i mean that is that is as level as you could probably think it would need to be so that's fantastic and then we can just hook these ones up in water what that's not in water uh, do you know what? I think that's good enough, isn't it? Is there any water down there? No, we're fine. Excellent. So then that's going to head off into this area. And for now, I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to bring that out. And just so we know people want to use it, we'll pop a little roundabout on the end. And they can turn around and come back if they wish. Excellent. So, mm, 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 mm. do I want and then another road through here? I want a nice big road through here that all of these are going to connect to. Let's go with the six lane and see how that goes. If we picked this contour line here and go straight through, that's only a minus 1.5. That's okay. And then we can curve that around and more or less follow this height. Yeah, I think for now, we're just going to connect that into there. So anybody from down here can take this larger road onto this sort of semi-highway through here to get to this section. We'll have a proper interchange on here so they can join the highway there. Or they can come out the end and go round. And then we've got all these other roads that we can connect on here as well. Uh, some of these are nice big four-lane roads. I'm thinking, what is going to be the best way to connect these onto here? excellent okay i think that will do for a connection there um where else have we got a connection oh yeah we've got this big junction over here which is not going to stay like this why don't we see if we can put something together ourselves so i'm thinking we're gonna delete this and this oh i've got anarchy on so we're gonna get trees appearing on the road we'll sort that out afterwards don't worry and then we're gonna take this one here there we go we're gonna try and get this over the top That's perfect. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah, lovely. That goes over the top. We could do some funky walls and things there. Very good, very good. And then let's just get rid of these little nubbins that we've got here. So now we want to sort of connect some of these rows onto the other roads and all that sort of thing. So let's have some highway lanes coming off of here. Um, I'm thinking that needs to be just raised, isn't it? Because the whole thing's raised anyway. So let's use our upgrade tool and go for elevated. Point. There we go. I'll just elevate a little bit more going back there. Oh, it's not elevated, is it? We want the one with the retaining wall. No, we want the one with the key wall. Yeah, that's what we want. And we want the same there. Yeah, excellent. That looks good. Could we do the same one here as well? Retaining wall, retaining wall. So we get it over there. We're not getting it here. Let's do it both sides. Then it would work. Let's have a look through there. Yeah, that's good. So we could dig that back a bit if we want. Excellent. Okay. So now we want some lanes coming off of here. So what we're going to do is upgrade this so it's a wider road. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I've extended it a bit further and I've stopped them turning right. So that lane now merges into there, which is good. That lane merges off. Oh, thank you, jumpy game. Um, and everything, yeah, is as it should be. I don't know why we're getting these weird artifacts here. Oh, man, that looks 
pretty nasty, doesn't it? So obviously we need to slope this out a little bit better to work. And we've got the retaining wall. I bet that's what it is. It's not liking that. So we can remove the retaining wall from that side there. There we go. And then we'll grab this and we'll do this again. Yep, there we go. That's okay. That's worked. We can do dedicated lanes there in a minute. Let's remove the retaining wall here without actually... Um, if I do it like that, that will go in okay. And we can put the retaining wall back in on that section. Is that all right? Yeah, we can smooth out the land. Okay. Mm, no, it doesn't like it, does it? Okay, let's remove it from there. Let's remove it from all the way on that side. And this side as well. Yeah, it really doesn't like that retaining wall there, does it? Well, the retaining wall's gone, so you don't need to worry about it anymore. Excellent, there we go. And then we just need to do the same on the other side as well, like this. Okay, let's just smooth this out in the middle here. So what I've done just to make it flow and work a little bit better is downgraded this to a four lane normal road, not sort of like the faster freeway highway road that we were using. And that has worked much, much better. Excellent. And then if we zoom out a little bit, I've added some roundabouts. So we're going to need ways to get off of this road. And that also enables people that come from down here that wish to go left. They can... Which way is it going? Up here. People that this way want to go right. So they can come off, round the roundabout, and straight through. And that just keeps this little intersection nice and simple. And then coming off of here, we can go for some of these. And just sort of... Let's get our snapping on. If you're going to let me snap to where I want to snap, we'll take that one off there. There we go. So we can sort of come straight out of some of the middle of these. There we go, like that. And we've now got access to other areas of this part of the map, which is exactly what we're doing. Some of these can be hooked up as well, which, which will add a little bit of interest. Ooh, there we go. And some more bridges across the river. Excellent. I'm liking that. Ooh, we've got one more here. Let's just do this one as well. Why not? there and there i definitely think that one's gonna snake around and come across yeah i don't know what we're gonna end up with in the middle there but looking good right okay so we have so much traffic i've just got to ignore all the traffic what what is it oh it's rush hour rush hour again so we were talking about the grand bridge weren't we we've had this bridge for so long and we're yet to use it well let's give this a go we can upgrade individual segments to the grand bridge which is oh that is looking pretty flipping grand isn't it and then if we go along here and do each one afterwards well that ain't no work does it what's going on there and i'm not using anarchy so i'll use anarchy for that bit now this ain't gonna work at all is it why is it doing that i've got anarchy on let me turn anarchy off oh there we go no that's not liking it and then we'll go there that's not liking it and that's not liking it okay i'm getting the impression we might need to just draw this in rather than try and uh, do that okay pause the game we are gonna delete this entire bridge all the way back to there and we'll worry about that connection in a moment we'll make sure we don't have anarchy on uh, can i connect onto there and go straight across let's see oh we can let's get that at 180 degrees there just about Actually, we'll make that 179 degrees so we can get it in. I don't think we can go any lower, can we? We just seem to be getting quite high. That is the lowest we can go. Let's place that. Oh, let's see then. Can we now connect that to here? Oh, I'm really hoping we can. Mm, let's have a look. I'm just wondering whether we might do something a little bit different here. But for now, I want that to go into there just just for now can you go in please straight it looks straight is it straight it's straight enough how does it look yeah we're gonna do something with that junction in a minute i mean that looks okay doesn't it the buses are working out <laughs> what's going on the traffic is absolutely horrendous but we're starting to expect that here we go the first person to go across the grand bridge let's enjoy the ride with them this thing is pretty grand isn't it considering this is kettle bridge we needed to have these fantastic bridges in here and wow that is absolutely brilliant look at that that is just thank you very much that is just looking nice 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 okay so how's the connection over here that is absolutely fine maybe we could do a little bit of work on the land yeah there we go a little something like that that works okay and then it goes all the way across and then the other end 
Yeah, what are we going to do with this junction here? Um, I believe we've probably got traffic lights on here. So maybe we'll just try the tried and tested way of fixing these roads is with asymmetrical roads. Uh, this bit here could be upgraded to an asymmetrical road as well. Uh, coming into there, which would be nice. That one could, but it means we lose all the trees and stuff. Excellent. And then the traffic light in here, even though the road's a little bit winky wonky. Let's have a look. We'll do that. We'll do advanced split phasing, exclusive pedestrian phase. Um, I'm just wondering whether to go for protected right, always green left. So we'll just go with that. And I'm thinking that within a few seconds or two, that should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Look, we're pretty much dealt with all the traffic. Yeah, there's a couple of things that are... Whoa, that's the wrong buttons altogether. Yeah, there's a couple of things that have despawned, but that happens when you change the roads, and I've got to work out what's going on. And there we go. Yeah, that's all flowing, flowing freely, not flowing freely. You know what I mean? Excellent. And the bridge is looking splendiferous. Very good. Okay, so we've got our grand bridge in for Kettle Bridge. Uh, maybe we could upgrade some of these other bridges as well. What other bridges have we got that we could use over here? I and mean, we've got our four lane tiered arch bridge, which we should be able to use in here. We keep this all nice and straight. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, what's this one? This is also four lane. We don't need to have every single one as that sort of bridge. We can maybe alternate it. Well, we're not going to do that one because it ain't going to work. So we'll leave that one. What have we got? This is a very small bridge. What have we got over here? So we've got the two lane truss arch. Oh, that's a shame. That would be nice if that fit in there. What about the two lane wood covered bridge? It will go that way, but not this way. Let's line that. That just seems like a weird bridge to put there, but I like it. We're going to go like that. And then we're going to do that and put anarchy in and hope that it looks okay. It becomes nice and thin inside. But actually, for adding a little bit of interest, I'm liking that. Yep, very nice, very nice. Okay, right, so back over to this area. Um, I'm thinking, actually, this is not a good place for that. So we're going to remove that. Oh, we had anarchy on. Let's just upgrade that road there. And that will solve that problem. Four lane upgrade. Boink, trees will go. Excellent. I want some sort of junction here in the middle let's just turn off turning there uh, one of the smallest junctions or intersections we have is this one no this one which i think if we pop that in there we can then have a road that takes up the whole island and we'll be able to deal with the traffic that we've got so if we can line this up so it works that would be fantastic. There is going to be a spot in here where it's going to work. I know there is. And I don't want to just anarchy it in. <laughs> so let's see what we can do. Yeah, do you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm just going to delete this whole section in the middle here. And we are going to place it in. Oh, look at that. It nicely hooks up at either end, which I think... There we go. That looks like it's going to work. Excellent. Very good. Very good. This end down here has ended up with a little turn. Well, we know how to turn those off. So let's grab this and we'll say no thank you. So that now continues off down there. Excellent. And we've got these options here. Uh, this does dip down a bit and we get a bit of shadowing, but I think that'll be fine. Very good. So now we can add a larger road coming through here. I would probably upgrade this one two let's turn that snapping off there that and we've got two lanes coming in and out anyway so that's no problem and then where are we going to have this one to go i mean it looks like this whole area is pretty flat anyway There we go. Excellent. How does that look? So then these little roads coming off here would be smaller roads to take us into uh, the housing areas that we're going to be building up here. So I would definitely change this one to an asymmetrical road going into the roundabout like so. And I would also try and line it up better. Oh, no, that's fine. That's OK. Very good. Very good. Then this one down here, do I want to add? I mean, we've got this highway connection. We could add a whole nother one here as well, which gives people in this section access on and off. And I'm just thinking we could possibly use a similar highway access 
that we've done before. I mean, that's the one we've just placed. Something that's not too complicated, but can get people on and off. I don't think I've actually done it here. Am I, am I confusing myself and thinking way back to City Skylines 1? I might be doing that. So let me show you what I'm thinking. We'll bring this road. That would have got, yeah, we've got this one here. So let's grab hold of that. And we're going to bring that straight down the middle. And I want that as near to the middle of here as possible. We'll go there. And then we're going to go up and over the top. There we go. Giving us a little bit of space as well. That should nicely go into there. That we can make a little bit longer. Where is that going to go afterwards? Hmm. I'm now wondering whether we could bring that through there and connect up because connecting up as many roads as possible really is going to help with the traffic. Let's just get that down to, there we go, and try and keep on this here. Where's the, oh, there we go. Look, we're literally right there, aren't we, for a crossover point. Let's grab this height. We can see it's a different, there we go, grab that one there. This height here, which is the level that we're at, there we go. So we're not too far off. And then if we... Let's go from this end first and bring that straight across to the level almost that we're on there. And then we can curve that around. And that should be pretty good, I reckon. We can get this lined up so it's straight. <laughs> Nearly. One of these days, I will get that super straight. And then we don't even have to connect that up to there because I bet with a little bit of clever there we go use of this we could even bring that down here no nope, that's not going to do that let's take that height there right click and just make that a little bit wider there we go will that fit underneath it will so now we have access with another side road off of this highway that could then access down here. So I'm going to just leave it there for now. We know what we're going to do with that. And then off of these roads here, we could add in some roundabouts. Uh, that seems to be the place it's letting me add that. We can add another one along here somewhere to get some smaller roads going off to the side like we've got here. And I think that is going to do us really well for this area. So then we've just basically got to draw out the roads that we'd like in this area so i'm just going to do this first of all and turn that around and then i'm going to do the same on the other side brilliant and then we're going to decide how to lay out our roads in here just before we do that i'm going to swing back over to this little junction that we sort of left we've got a lot of trash problems going on over here which i want to solve and if we look at our garbage management i mean we're on the cusp of having enough to deal with it all but i think the population is so dense in this area here that what we've got is spread about. And we've got this one here. How's that one looking? I mean, the processing speed is okay, and it's got space in there. There's another one somewhere else, isn't there, that we've got that deals with the trash. Why can't I see it for looking? Is that literally it? There it is, all the way over here. I knew there was another one. So this one's a little bit closer. And that's doing okay as well, but I'm wondering whether... So let's just have a look at our road access. So that can get onto the highway. That can then come off here and go into there, but it's not dealing with it. Mm. Oh, no, it's over here we want to get to. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. You can get onto the highway. You can come all the way down here, and then it's coming through the traffic, which is what I think is causing the most issues so i'm thinking of doing something with this little area so this road here that we brought down uh, let's continue with that one and we're going to bring it underneath the bridge like so and we'll do that and we'll get some interesting lane action going on there which i think will help and then off of here i'm just thinking off of here we can use some of our unlock points if we go into our garbage management we've got the incinerator plant now i don't know how big this thing is let's maybe check this out incinerator plant is humongous okay recycling center and then the garbage uh landfill thing oh dear okay where could we perhaps add this in an area that wouldn't necessarily be a nice area to live i'm thinking between all of these highways and different rows that we've got going on this might be a spot let's use this spot here 
for some services and things that we're going to be using in our brand new area so now we've got this sorted out what we could do is work on this land a little bit here and give ourselves some access so we're going to take this road which is going to come off of here we may adjust this a little bit later but that'll do for now and i just want to sort of swing that road around into here get it nice and close and then go straight across and that'll be where we're going to add this on we do a little bit of work on the land over here there we go excellent and then if we take this we should be able to just place that on there let's have a look and that's okay this road here at the end is going up a little bit we'll sort that out excellent that's good and this also makes power for us so that's something that we can keep our eye on. We can hook that in as well. I want to just add a little road down the side here. Can you go straight in there for me? Excellent. And it's just going to have a lot of people working here. So it's got a pretty big upkeep. Not so many. 40 employees. Okay, not as much as I thought. But it doesn't really have any parking. It's got a little bit of parking. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20... 30 parking spaces, not massive. But we can upgrade this as well. Ooh, extra incinerator furnace. Got a bit of an auto save going on there. We've got this one, which is extra garbage truck depot. Does that just literally add onto the building, does it? Yep, can't even see what that looks like. And storage extension. And this is what I was looking for. Oh, with anarchy on, we can place it over the roads. Shall we add some more storage over here at the back? How many of these can we add? Oh, we can add a lot of these. Let's do that. Now, that has added in where we would have our power. So that isn't really very good, is it? And unfortunately, we can't individually delete these. Or can we? Is there one of these that will let us... It's not that one. And it's not this one. Or is it? No, that's for deleting the concrete underneath. Oh, I was hoping that that was going to just let us delete just this one thing. No, nope, I have to rebuild the building. There we go. I've done storage either side. And so I don't forget in the future, we will add a power line coming out the back there, which we can attach to an outside connection at some point. We've got this outside connection over there. We won't worry about that right now. So that should be okay. Um, you've got no access to sewage and stuff like that because this doesn't connect to our main system. So we can just, I think, run that from there to there is that going to solve the problem yep that solves the problem excellent and then we'll just add our extra one of those so we'll get all the trucks 75 vehicles in use so they should now going out yeah there we go head on to here and go would you not want to go over here where all the garbage problems are that would be nice if you could yep this one is heading over this direction excellent right that should be the trash issue sorted out hopefully very soon so before we start filling in this area we want to look at our mass transit options that we've got going on um so over here in palmer springs we have this train station that we set up a long time ago with access to the park and all of this lovely good stuff over here that connects with our trams um, and that goes around the rest of our city so that's got connections going off to the outside it's got then connections coming through all the way through to our other train station that is over here in Teeland Downs, right at the top by our technical university. And then that heads off into the outside as well. So I don't think we're necessarily going to loop it all the way round, but I definitely want to connect this one up first. So maybe let's just take a little look at how we're going to do that. So I'm thinking if it crosses over the road, then if it comes down the side of the road here and then we can branch out and our train station i'm thinking to have in like this little nook here so it's near enough the road we can have crossing over to get to the other side and then that can branch out round here maybe even at some point hooking up to the airport as well okay so let's take a look at this um i always think it's weird that you only have now, that is just not connected up at all, and that wasn't put together with anarchy or anything like that. That is rather weird, isn't it? All right, let's just delete the piece on the end here and all of those. There we go. And we'll try and sort something out a little bit better. Let's grab our train line, and we want that coming out as a two. That's what I was, I was going to say. It's a little bit weird that it comes out as a one, but it doesn't. That was just what I'd done. 
just looking at the height of the land here this actually lifts up quite high doesn't it um let's grab our tools oh by the way just added extra landscaping tools a new mod which now gives us option to draw there we go different resources and things in which we would have had before in city skylines ones that's great that's been added what i want to do is try and keep this at a reasonable height so this is the height that we're going for up here so if i just delete all of this we'll go for this height so that actually should lift us over the top anyway which is good and then do i want to try and stick to that height all the way along here because that is pretty high and we could just do a raised line coming through here which could be good and we can utilize some of our other tools to help us with that as well um so let's just get the height zero off of here and see what we can do and get that level so that is going to be yeah that's nice and level there i'm going to turn off my snapping so what I'm thinking is going to have a nice raised line there. And then if we could bring that round, can I just delete that tiny bit there? I can. Yeah, trying to get that to come over the top here. Going to be very difficult. Let's go this way. Is that not high enough? Oh, seriously? How is that not high enough? Okay, we'll go up one. We'll go up two. One of these will fit. Oh, now it's just a case of getting the things in the right place. If I turn Anarchy off, it won't. If I turn Anarchy on... Oh, there. We'll go in without Anarchy. That's... Oh, it won't. It will. <laughs> Switching Anarchy on off. So that, to me, the pillars, as long as they're not over the white line, that, to me, is fine. So we'll go with that. And that, then, should come straight down into there. We need a little bit of a curve, which is fine. In fact, we could go into that one and have these ones hook in. Like so, we can play with that a bit later if you want to. Um, can I, I know it's gonna be a bit of a turn, but if I connect that up, actually if I turn Anarchy off so we're not messing anything up. Yeah, it's a bit of a turn to get round there, but that's fine to get that slow turn, then it's gonna speed off down that way. And then what I wanted to use is my road upgrade tools um, on here, so we can actually add a key wall onto either side of that and this which is good and then we can use this tool here and we can just get rid of oh doing a quick also say we can get rid of all this land and we'll get a nice sort of key wall on that section there and we can carry that on down as much as we want and then hopefully now we're at the same height we might need to make a few adjustments along here there we go that's what i want it to do is to snap in and I want that just to be flat. So 0 0.8. It's giving me a bit of a key wall thing going on there, which I don't want. But I just want this to carry on down here as much as possible. Oh, man, this isn't going to fit, is it? Bridges, bridges. Will that bridge then be a tunnel instead? Hmm. It is very close, isn't it? And if you look at the lie of the land here, this road actually lifts up along here. So I think if we just pause this for a moment, if we take out these bits of road here does that start lifting up there it does and we do a bit of work on this road i think we could fit this through so i'm going to nip that off there like so we're then going to take this height right click there and we're going to left click that all the way through to up there and it's almost the same height as that isn't it excellent let's nip that off there and then i like the way that the the standard parallel setting for these roads is the right width, which is really good. So we're going to bring these through. And I think if we just connect those up there, that should be fine. That is a heck of a lot lower now. So I think if we just take these, we might be able to go straight over the top. Let's see if we can get this working. Excellent. How's that looking? How is that looking? That is looking fine. That works for me. Excellent. We can come back and look at the edges and all that another time. Uh, over here, then, we can go down to the ground, which will help us get underneath here. So let's just run at the rest of this. Oh, man, that is going to be tight. I was hoping we could get down to the ground with a nice slope. So I'm going to bring this back. There we go. And see what we can do here. And actually, what's that? Minus 3.5. We could even go even further. Is that not liking it? There. We can go there. There we go. Minus 3.1, minus 3. I think that should be 
absolutely fine. And now we're down to ground level, so we can basically do what we like now and bring this. Where are we heading for? I'm completely lost. We were heading into there, weren't we? So we're going to have to sort of get through this section. And then for this last section here, I'm thinking I'd like to run it alongside the road, cut across, and then come through the middle there. Um, it's going to be just doing a little bit of terraforming here. Let's get the height of this. Yeah, there's going to be different heights along here isn't it okay let's grab this one then so we're going to smooth from there to here so hopefully that's a reasonable size as the rest of it we'll smooth a bit of this off here just so it goes back out the way and then we'll do another right click and left click there just to give us a flat platform and we'll do that to there so right click there and go up yeah, that should be okay. And then right click there and go up. So that should be all right. Let's see if we can run this down here. And then for this last little bit here, we're going to try using the complex curve tool. So if we get that there and then bring that in, I think about to there should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's not too bad as a curve, is it? Then that'll come along there, come over the top here. We'll sort out all those little roads in a minute. And then we're ending up in here, aren't we? So let's place our train station down. Um, which way round do I want it? I think that way round will be good. We can have the road. No, do you know what? I'm going to turn that the other way round and have that up against the river. Mm, I'm trying to make sure we've got enough room for all the roads that we're going to have in here. Let's go with that. That's quite low down, so I think if we curve this over the top, we should be okay. I haven't got anarchy on, but it seems to be putting pillars on the road, which is weird because it shouldn't do that. That is very strange, unless it's recognised. Oh, it has. It's recognised that the pillars aren't actually in the road, which is good. We'll go with that. That's I'm happy with that. Excellent. And we might need a little bit more room, actually, to fit this thing in. So let's just move this over. I'm now sort of perhaps changing my mind and thinking it can be over here instead. Okay, how does that look? It's a bit windy, which is fine. We don't mind that. Oh, I forget. Let me just connect these ones into here. And again, we can come back and sort of adjust these a little bit later if needed. That will do. So now they can get in and out. Obviously, we need roads and things on there. Let's just check along this line that it doesn't look too... I don't mind that some of the retaining walls have got gaps underneath for any roads that we might need to place. That was all okay. We checked all the pillars on that. A little bit of retaining wall there, which is fine. I think that's looking okay, isn't it? I'm like... I might add some more retaining wall along the back here, just for visual interest. That is a bit of a lump and a bump going up there, isn't it? Do you know what we're going to do, actually? We are going to delete this from here to there, and then we're going to try and level this bit out, just to make it a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to right-click there, and we're going to swing that round, which is going to be absolutely nothing to do with the curve that we saw before there we go and i'm hoping i can replicate <laughs> that curve again uh in here we'll grab this one we'll do that one let's just see whether it likes it yeah there we go it was easy to do it by hand so now we've got it sort of tucked into that area there um so i'm thinking could we just make some use of the retaining wall type thing in here um let's just have a look so if we upgrade all of that side all the way down to there with the retaining wall and the other side as well there we go and then what we should be able to do we use this one here is just sort of smooth that down a bit we could bring it in a bit closer couldn't we so we actually see the retaining wall well that's not too bad is it we could do it like that and then we've got a bit of retaining wall where we need it over here oh actually as we're going along it's getting larger all right let's do that there we go i quite like that with it dipped down the retaining walls either side and it comes out and goes into a bridge carries on yep good 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 and then this bit over here was fine this bit here we just need to smooth out i think i'll just smooth the land a little bit there and that will take care of that excellent over our cozy street bridge very nice 
and then we're back over here and we can just sort of smooth this out can't we we know that's all at the same height excellent very good so that is super going to help people getting over here into our new city i mean what name are we going to have for our new city i mean do we count all of these as separate cities we've got biffington springs in the middle here which i think is really growing up into a city it's got a population of forty-three thousand. so that's pretty big and then we've got the combined tealand downs and spencer croft that's almost like a second you know ancillary city got thirteen thousand and twenty-two thousand. you know so 40 whatever that added up 2000 45000 not too far off of this one here which is good so I, I think that's almost another city and we could have this as a small little city on this little peninsula here maybe give me some name suggestions in the comments below i'll be very interested to hear what you can come up with so in this one here uh, we're going to go for a large road i think through here for decorative reasons and then where's that road going to go yeah, that road could come into here. That could just go straight into there. And if we need to adjust that at any point, that is fine. And then we've got this one over the top here. Can we easily get that over the top? We could if we stuck at the same height, because that is a bit higher, isn't it? Let's see what we can do. Surely that can go over. With a bit of anarchy, that'll be fine. A bit more anarchy, he doesn't like it. That's okay. And then we can smooth that down over here. Yep, something like that. And then that can sort of come into this area. We can work that out as we go along. And again, here, we could use our road upgrade tools. And we could pop some nice uh, key walls on this. There we go, and that'll attach over here some way at some point. Excellent. Adding some bit of interest in it. We might keep that raised actually, because then we could have roads going underneath. But we can we can play with things as we go along. Um, so we don't know what the name of this area is going to be at the moment, but we are going to bring some passenger lines in here. Let's just take that first one. And I think we're going to just have that one go straight into here. Which one of these is not being used? They're all being used can't bring it into here for some reason even though this is in which is weird i thought that would add an extra line for us but that's okay we'll go to there if we need to change it in the future we can bum, 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 bum. all these things we're doing in the future i hope someone's keeping a list <laughs> we shall see we shall see and then i mean if we do loop this one around over here so at the minute it goes to vixen crossing we could have another spur come off and then it would have to sort of loop around the back, cut across here. That's going to be a big undertaking. So we'll keep that for when we need it. And then do we want to add this connection to the outside at all? I mean, the outside isn't that far away. It's literally right there. Unfortunately, it's all water. Maybe we'll wait for that for when we sort of loop it up around here because we'll be right by the edge. Yeah, that'll be fine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I just want to show you something over here in Spencer Croft. I just, I know, uh, traffic, I'm always trying to fix it, but I'm just loving all the attention to detail with all the people wandering around and things going on. Look at this, <laughs> they're all just standing around this police car, unhappy with all the traffic. That I think she's actually in the police car there. We've got all this traffic going up here. They're all basically trying to get into car parks, and it is just horrendous. But then down here, look at this. So many people trying to get into the bus stations and cross the roads. It is nuts. We are definitely going to have to have an epic traffic fixing episode coming up. A lot of these roads, if we just had a 2U four-lane road, we could just fix a lot of this. It's not in the game yet. I don't know why it was never added into the game. But we really need to add it in together. Little, little things like this. Look, we just need, you know, we've built we've built things without sort of necessarily thinking of what it's going to be like in the future. <laughs> now we're we're paying with traffic. Let's get some asymmetrical roads in there. Let's get a traffic light that's going to do advanced split phase in the exclusive pedestrian phase. We're going to save that and let it go. And things like this will hopefully get fixed up reasonably quickly. But a lack of parking is really causing issues because people are queuing for parking everywhere. But we're going to have to wrap that one up. Let me know what you think about what we've done today. I need a name for the new area. So stick that in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you're here for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.